Hi, this video is about TDDs or Temporal Displacement Devices. So, you know, Terminator is all about time traveling and traveling back into the past to change the future. So, uh, we thought it was a good idea to have that mechanic in the game. The way we've done that is that basically each player, both players, have one of these, these counters, which are the Temporal Displacement Agents. So each one represents an agent that you have on standby near a time machine to go back into the past. And you have one each. If you want, you can purchase more by using points. You can have more of them. So say, for example, I have three and my opponent has played for two. And what they do is, uh, whenever something um, that happens that you are not really happy with, so they say that this, this guy fires at this endoskeleton, the endoskeleton is not destroyed, it's hit, but if he rolls a 1 on his d20, he will actually uh, retreat, so that's one of the rules about morale. Uh, so <clears throat> the endoskeleton player, the terminator player rolls, and he rolls a 1, a chance in 20, and he goes, oh no, no, oh, no, I don't really need that, this is really a bad thing. So basically these agents can be sent into the past to change the past so that that doesn't happen or happen in a different way and effectively you get a reroll. So these are effectively your rerolls. Uh, so for example, uh, the Terminator player could say, I play my I play my TDD agent, send it to the past to change that and basically I get to reroll my thing and I roll not a one. So the endoskeleton is fine. It can be knocked out, there could be other things that could happen to it, but at least if it's not a one you really don't want that result. Um, so that's one thing you can do with it. Uh, now. Of course, if I want to get my reroll and I decide to spend my TDD, the opponent can go, wait a second, I still have agent in reserve. I could, I don't have to, but if I wanted, I could send one of my agents in the past to try to stop your agent, kill your agent, so that you don't get that reroll. So if we decide to do that, we both are playing one of our counters, and we both will have a fight in the past, and that's represented by a simple roll-off with a D8, so the highest one will kill the enemy agent and obviously will either change the, so you either get the reroll or not. Now you can send in the past, actually you can buy uh, better agents. So for example, if you buy a normal cyborg, if you have a normal roll, you roll a cyborg, that, but you could instead spend a few more points and send a T1000 into the past. So you have a T20 against the D8 of the humans. Or you know the humans could, you could send a hero like Reese and get a better dice. So, you can tweak what these are, but in general you can have more, but they are your rerolls. And very importantly, we found that uh, whenever you use a reroll like that, you have to try to justify and explain. <laughs> we don't have to, but it makes for often for a good story of why, how you're changing history to make that happen. For example, we had the uh, person shooting, at the human shooting at a Terminator, an infiltrator, and uh, hitting and being very lucky, so that the Terminator player said, I'm sending my agent back, and you know, if I succeed in my mission, I will make this endoskeleton, this, this infiltrator, rather, uh, the cyborg, look like the father, find out who the father of this guy that is shooting at me is, and make it look like his father. So that basically the guy will <laughs> hesitate, be, you know, well, oh, whoa, and lose his timing, and I will survive that. So that was a good example, we thought it was a, it's a good one. You don't have to, but it's funny, and these are your time, the, the devices.